In the Pacific Northwest, celebrating Halloween is a big tradition, and my family has sent Halloween cards for generations. My grandmother used to send me Halloween cards every year, and my mom sends Halloween cards to me and to my daughters. And so I like to make Halloween cards sometimes, and here I am making one in particular thinking of my mom, but I will also send some out to some others. The reason I say my mom is because this card is featuring her kitty cat popping out of a pumpkin. My cat doodles often have a U shape to encompass the side and bottom of the head and then also the side of the ears. And here I have some little button eyes with little dew points. The nose and mouth finish off the face and then I just have the cat leaning over the side of the pumpkin with its soft little paws and so he's peeking out and I go back after I draw my kitty and I draw the pumpkin around it. The reason I draw my cat first and then the pumpkin around it is because the cat is going to be in the foreground and it is going to be easier for me to do the lines surrounding it instead of trying to squeeze that kitty cat into a space I left for it. The little bit of sketching I did at the beginning is an easy way for me to make sure I'm putting my picture right where I want it and also that it's about the right size. I find it looks a lot nicer if I erase any pencil marks before I start using the marker. As you can see, my mom has a gray cat with a white face and white paws and white tummy. But you could, of course, draw this exact same sketch by following along with me. And then you can color your doodle to match any cat you want. It could be a calico cat or a black cat or an orange and white cat, any kitty that you know. Here I am going back and adding some whiskers. And if you've watched some of my videos, you'll know occasionally I forget the tail and I didn't even think about putting a tail on my mom's sweet cat. So I'm going to pretend that the tail is just in the bottom of the pumpkin and not peeking out because it's in the pumpkin and not just because I forgot. I put this kitty in a pumpkin um, partly because of October and we have lots of pumpkins, but also because pumpkins are kind of a symbol around here for Halloween. We cut the tops off and we carve all the seeds and goo out of the middle and then we often carve faces or pictures on the front and put um, candles or little battery operated lights inside of the pumpkins and have them glowing on our porches to spread the joy of the season and to invite trick-or-treaters to come to our house and get a little treat of a couple pieces of candy. Back when I was a kid, every block had kids dressed up in costumes going from door to door getting candy and we used to take pillowcases and we would get hundreds and hundreds of pieces of candy which was crazy. Nowadays there is not so much trick-or-treating door to door and it happens more at businesses and in malls but we still have some trick-or-treaters. I hope that you enjoyed watching this doodle and getting a little peek into Halloween here in the Pacific Northwest and that your life is full of joy and celebration.